everyone, my name is Whitney and I am a dental hygienist. If you're new here, welcome. If you've been here before, welcome back. Let's talk about whether or not you should get a root canal or an extraction and the pros and cons of each. If you're someone who is stuck deciding between root canal therapy, saving your tooth, versus an extraction, pulling or removing your tooth, please know that if you're stressed about this decision, you're not alone. The root canal versus extraction debates have been around for a while, but once you understand all of the pros and cons of each, you'll feel much more confident about which one is right for you. And I want to start by saying, having a dentist that you trust is everything, especially when you're dealing with whether or not to save a tooth. Do not, and I repeat, do not base your decision from what you've heard about a friend or a family member's dental experience. Everyone's teeth are different. There is literally no comparison to dental treatment plans, even if it sounds like someone had a similar situation to you. So please, please, please talk with your dentist about your individual situation. They are there to help guide you in the right direction with their honest professional opinion. Having said all of that, a lot of times patients tend to lean toward an extraction instead of a root canal because it seems like there are more pros than cons initially, especially if they're in pain and they just want things over with or they're just tired of dealing with a tooth that's been giving them problems, or maybe they're basing it off of price, off of money. Pulling the tooth is cheaper at first. It's super important to be aware that it might not be the cheapest option in the long run because of future problems and complications that extractions can create. So what seems like the fastest and easiest option, pulling a tooth, isn't always the best choice. Now, of course, there are times when extracting it is your only option, but if that's the case, never mind this video, there's no decision to make if your dentist has already found that a root canal isn't possible. So in general, a root canal is always the best first choice. There is nothing better than having your natural tooth in your mouth. Even if a crown has to be placed on top of it after the root canal, which is the norm, it's still your natural tooth under there, intertwined with your bone. When you extract a tooth and get an implant, it's not a tooth anymore. It's a screw under there now. Again, not a bad option. Implants are actually great. But if it's a choice between the two, then it's definitely worth trying to save your natural tooth with a root canal. And again, a trustworthy dentist will let you know whether or not it's worth it for your individual situation. Sometimes they will give you percentages on how likely the root canal is to be a success. Sometimes they will be confident it will be a success. If so, definitely go for it. But if it's a percentage, I understand where that gets kind of tricky. And that's when the honest opinion of your dentist and or the endodontist, the root canal specialist, is super important. Say they give you a 50-50 chance that your root canal will be a success. I'm just making this up, but let's say that. That's where it depends on how much money and how much time you are willing to commit. Because yes, I would personally still do it. I'm all about trying to save my natural teeth if I can, as you could have guessed it from listening to this video. But if you were in this example scenario, everyone is different and maybe you're unsure about the 50-50 chance. You were hoping for more of a 90 or a 100% chance of root canal success. Maybe then you would want to go the extraction route, which is fine. However, I just want everyone to be aware that it's not always all over after an extraction because extracting a tooth is sometimes like opening a can of worms. It seems easy at first, but you might find out more complications and more problems and more expenses in the future. Not always, but sometimes. And I've seen it more often than not. And the biggest thing is that there is no other option once you pull it out. It's out. That's why I'm all about the root canal. Because if for some reason it was a low success rate, at least I tried. I did everything I could to save it. And after trying, if it didn't work, then I can go extract it. Again, this is a super specific scenario. I made up a 50-50 chance. And, but regardless, I know everyone's time and financial situation is different. But the point is that most of the time it is close to 100% chance of a success. So in that case, in most cases, it's not even a decision. The investment of a root canal really does save you time and money overall, which I'll explain more about in just a second. There's really not many cons to a root canal. Root canals unfortunately get a really bad reputation surrounding them. People think they are painful, not worth it, or that it's way worse than most other everyday dental treatments. But the reality is that getting a root canal can be done in a comfortable, pain-free manner. I do have two videos all about root canals. One explains what a root canal really is, and the other goes over all the myths about pain and more about the safety, cost, etc. So I'll link both of those videos of mine in the bottom bar below if you'd like to learn more. But for the purpose of this video, let's talk about the pros and cons of each and then I'll send you on your way. Root canals. Pros saves your natural tooth, less expensive in the long run, saves your surrounding teeth from shifting, saves your opposing teeth from dropping down, and saves your bone level from being lost. Cons, it's expensive initially. Extractions, pros, you get out of pain quickly, and it's cheaper initially. Cons, it's more expensive in the long run and more involved in the long run. For example, needing to add bone to the hole, working to prevent your adjacent teeth from shifting and the opposing teeth from dropping down. Changes in your bite alignment can happen due to a missing tooth. Chewing issues, 
leading to need of replacements such as partial dentures or a bridge or an implant in the future. There's definitely more cons with an extraction. However, again, please know that it doesn't mean an extraction is bad or anything like that. But to properly answer the question for this video, should I get a root canal or an extraction? Root canals are your best bet in the long run. Extractions are truly meant as a last resort. And an analogy I used in my other root canal video is that if you had a broken arm, your first thing wouldn't be, oh, I'm gonna chop it off, forget the arm. You know what I mean? You would do everything you could to save that arm. But again, if it's your only option, your dentist has found that a root canal is not possible or after talking with your dentist, you decide an extraction really is the best option for you at this time in your life. That is fine. I am not shaming people who choose to do an extraction even though they were recommended to do a root canal. Everyone has different priorities. It is your mouth and it is your decision. So whether you choose to get an extraction or if it's your only option to get an extraction, I can't stress enough how okay that is. And I do have a video all about the different tooth replacement options for after a tooth extraction, which I will also link in the bottom bar below as well. I hope this video helped you and helped make this decision less intimidating. Whatever you choose will be the right decision for you. Never feel bad about what you need to do for you. And until next time, please like and subscribe and turn on your notifications. And I'll see you on Instagram at Teeth Talk Girl. Peace, love, and teeth.